I wear a mask if I want to wear a mask? So you can't call me a criminal because I'm wearing a mask. I'm fine. Follow- criminal, when you go to rob, when you go to rob a bank, listen, man, when you go to rob a bank, that's when you wear a mask. Oh. <laughs> not, when you're, not, when you're, not when you're representing a non-profit organization. Can you please stop <laughs> What? Now? Okay, interesting logic. When you rob a bank, that's when you wear a mask. Kind of true, different kind of mask though. That's the one key piece of information that you're missing here. We were on the sidewalk only. You cannot cross this line. This is private property. Cross the line. Are you did a Karen? You have, you Are you have, a Karen? Do you have a house here? I live here. That is the line. This is not, you can watch your dog here. You can are you trying? Are you, are you trying to start problems for no reason? No, but you are playing games. This is game. No, there's no game, okay? But you know what? You know what? Okay, get us, this get is... lost, okay? Hey! I don't want to talk to you anymore. Do not yell, you're on my property. <laughs> the person who's literally yelling is telling them not to yell. So I guess that must be her house, which like, okay, and in her defense, to play devil's advocate just for one second, She's right. If that's her property, she has a right to be like, get off my property. But I feel like a foot on your driveway probably isn't gonna be the worst thing in the world. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but it seems like maybe she just wanted to get in a fight for absolutely no reason. Not gonna you change. will. Is nope. she on the lease? Because there's still two is children. Is she on the lease? Is she on the lease? There's still is two children. Is she on the lease? Is she on the lease? There are still two children and they're not gonna turn is she into on an the adult lease? over time. Is she on the lease? All you're doing is making it worse for yourself. How? Because it's not gonna change. My children are still children. They're still gonna make noise from no, time to time. But they were only here uh, twice a week. That's How do you what she know? said. That's what she said. You don't know that. Don't oh, kill. I know. Don't I know all sorts of Oh yeah. Yeah, obviously, because you're very you nosy. And why are you kicking my stuff? Put that back. Because it hit my foot. Because <laughs> it hit my, hit my foot. foot. Oh, you're a liar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so it sounds like there's some dispute over this guy's children and, like, how often they're over, which is literally none of her business at all. I got to know more because I want to know who is she asking if they're on the lease. Because if she's asking about the children, of course the children are not on the lease. They're children. They can't be legally obligated for anything. They're children. What the heck? Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and today we are looking at some more Karen freakouts because these Karens just can't quit. Let's get into it. Why do I have to listen to you? I'm asking... Because you don't shut up. Shut up. You are the one who is Listen, screaming at me. I'm showing you. Makes a good point. This little scratch. You don't even listen. Okay, give us information about your mechanic. If that's the way. If you want to pay, then that's fine. Pay? You are not going to pay for our you damage. You are over the line. Look where your car is. Do you think that's acceptable? That's not the way that, it works. Six, Do you think that's acceptable? Please wear your mask, ma'am. When you talk to me, please no, wear I your can't. mask. No, no, because you don't listen. I would, if you listen, listen, I would wear a mask. That doesn't make any sense at all. What? What's the difference? What's the, if she's not gonna listen, she's not gonna listen. Mask or no mask, she's not gonna listen. Also, it sounded like she was listening. I'm gonna send it to corporate so that Fine. they can see that Fine. you couldn't refund Fine. me my money. I can't. You're telling boss, me you can't. I'm not allowed that. So you call tomorrow morning and you give back your money. They can't give me a refund. We can't take back the food because of COVID. Fine, that's fine. That's, that's COVID. That's fine. That's you, I won't hand you the You're food. Ridiculous. It's fine. I but we just want our money you back. Have we'll have the cops have you escorted. This is private property, sir. You messed up our order. You're going to make us pay for food that you messed up? Ooh, I need more backstory because maybe they might be right. Like, who's the Karen in this situation? Because, like, okay, he makes a valid point. Can't take the food back because of COVID. So, like, fair enough. But if you mess up the order, you should still remake it. And, like, if they're open, they should be able to do a refund, right? I don't know. Somebody let me know more context to this story because I'm intrigued. Be sure to tell them you've been here for more than 24 hours. Which is illegal. What is your name? My name is none of your business. Is that your dog? Yes, it is. Why are you here harassing me? You're parked illegally. What's it your is name? Illegal. 
ask you. I don't have to tell you my name. You came up to my door, touching stuff on my door, and you won't give me your name. You. Oh. You're from out of state. The cops can't. You're camping. What makes you think I'm out of state? What state are you from? I'm from Alaska. You're going to wear a hat that says USA on my doorstep? Come and treat me like that? Fair enough. Wow, what a patriot that woman was. But like, seriously, first of all, are you the parking guy? Like, get out of here. Who cares? Who, why do you care if I'm parked illegally because I've been parked for longer than 24 hours? None of your business, sir. Also, yeah, you're on my property. You're at my door, knock, knock, knocking. Of course I'm gonna ask you some questions about who you are. I don't know you. I don't know you. Jeez, what a mean guy. But that dog was very cute. I would have invited the dog inside. You. No, stop, stop, stop. No, I'll tell her, she's out of order. Get out of here. You don't ruin the suite. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. The guy in the truck has it right. Like, just stop. She's clearly like an older lady and like, whatever, whatever. I mean, she's mad because I guess he was talking too loud at 5.30 in the morning, which just like, I don't know, close your door? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but leave it alone, leave her alone. She's old, but that pylon, careful. Those will get you. <laughs> Who coming in our neighborhood, pulling our signs. You coming in our neighborhood pulling off our signs. And then she has. Do not touch my car. And then she have her tag. Then she have her tag covered up. Then she have her tag Sir, covered I'm up. You go. Please let me go. I need some help. Sir, I'm really sorry. You're sorry for what? I did leave the tag. Can you go put it back? Yes, I will. Can you go put it back? I because I'm getting ready to call the police. I'll get back. Oh, wow. That was a learning moment for that lady. She really ended up owning up to her mistake. That's crazy. It's crazy what people will do when they realize that they're caught in the act. Like, why didn't you think about this before you did the thing that was wrong? Also, it's very illegal to have your license plate covered up. Not supposed to do that. And if you had the forethought to cover up your license plate, you know that you're doing something wrong. So don't do it. I was in the backyard. That's why you're recording. Go ahead, record it. Get your time, get your date. My name is Ron Romine. Make sure you record this part. Right here, right here. We're digging into my property. Okay? He didn't dig into your property. Where do you think this trench came from? He has not been on your property. What do you call this? It's deny water. It. Deny it. What? I just watched him do it. Now you're quiet. You just lift up your tail. You're gonna <laughs> and then you get quiet as soon as the camera starts. Said I'm gonna beat you. Okay, go off. I love people who are just really passionate about their gardens. I really respect that a lot. Um, but they did have a good point that it was probably just the rain as there was like those kinds of puddles in the other areas of the garden too. Come right here. Oh, Let me come right here. Oh, I will destroy your food when it comes out. This is not my food. This is my water. No, they told me come right here. Oh. They told me come right here. What's up, them? Oh. I'm about to take take picture of the license plate. Yo, why is that guy so angry? Like, I feel like he can just go around and also they told her to go there. Like, what's she supposed to do? If she leaves, they're gonna be like, what the heck? And maybe she won't get her food. People are upset. I think these people are just hangry because they're obviously trying to get food. I feel like they were at a restaurant. I don't know. Trailer trash. Trailer trash, that's all he has. He says I'm fat. I'm like, I'm like 210. 210 and like 5'11". This guy's got to be at least 300 pounds. He might be like 6'2", though. He's he, 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 6'4". I said 6'2". My bad. I'm two inches off. 6'4". 
dumbass right there. Look at him. <laughs> Yo, anybody who like goes to those kind of insults immediately just like doesn't have the creativity or like the brains to come up with anything different. Just like being rude about like Think, like calling somebody trailer trash, like grow up, think of something more original and creative. You know, if you're gonna be rude, be good at being rude. I don't know. Anyways guys, that has been our video for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hopefully one day we'll run out of content for these Karen videos because maybe people will sit down and keep their mouths shut. That will never happen. I've been your host, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time these Karens, man. And I like, I like it hit my foot. I'm like, how did it hit your foot? It's an inanimate object. Didn't just get up and walk over. Crazy. You know, wh what? what? I don't get it. I don't get it. Also, why couldn't they get a refund? If they're open, they should be able to do a refund, right? Don't do it, guys. What about like karma or just being a good person? <laughs> There's that too.